Have you ever wondered why the moon seems to change its shape in the night sky? Or why a month doesn't always align with the moon's complete orbit around the earth? What exactly are sidereal and synodic months and why are they so important in understanding lunar phenomena? Let's start with the sidereal month. Have you ever heard of it? It's approximately 27.32 days alone. But what makes it different from the synodic month? The sidereal month measures the moon's orbit around the earth. Now, you might be asking why is this important? Well, understanding the sidereal month is important for astronomers. But what about the synodic month? The synodic month, on the other hand, is about 29.53 days long. It's the time it takes for the moon to return to the same phase, like from full moon to full moon and new moon to new moon, as observed from the Earth. Sidereal month is measured with respect to the fixed stars and synodic month is measured with respect to the sun. Because of the influence of the sun's gravity, the synodic month is longer than the sidereal month. It's important to understand both of these concepts when studying lunar phases and celestial mechanics. So, the next time you gaze off at the night sky and witness the changing phases of the moon, remember, it's all about the dance between sidereal and synodic month. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the wonders of the universe. Bye-bye.